Hey guys, this is 2012 Solar. Today I'm testing the uh, amp and volt output of the homemade solar panel I built. So I'm going to start with the volts, then we'll move on to the amps. So go and get the uh, volts here. About, uh, let me get a good connection. 16.75 amps, or volts I should say. It's pretty good. The uh, sun, I mean, the panel is angled directly at the sun, and have the at the correct angle. So, 16.57, and let's move on to the amps here. Connect my meter up there. Put it on the amp setting. Here we go. 3.3 amps. It's not bad. 3.35 amps. That's pretty good, really. At 16.57 volts. Which, um, what's kind of strange about this panel is I noticed uh, when it gets hotter, it, um, the volts go down, but the amps, you know, stay the same. I'm thinking it's just the uh, type of solar cells I used here. You know, uh, the amps are reduced as it gets hotter with any solar panel for that matter. So that, that's uh, kind of expected. So, yeah, guys, that's just the uh, volts and amps of the homemade solar panel I built. Um, but the volts, as far as the volts, I w I'm not too concerned about it because uh, when I run it in uh, parallel with the 85 watt panel there, and my Harbor Freight solar panel, the volts are still high enough to uh, charge a battery. And even at 16.5 volts, it's still uh, good enough to charge a battery. Um, you really only need about 14 and a half volts to really charge it up good. But anyways, just thought I'd share it with you. That's the volts and the amps of the homemade 65 watt solar panel.